what's up guys? Sniper Nick here, and today we're gonna go over our watch list for tomorrow, Wednesday, October 23rd. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. What you're looking at here is our website, and our members get these four tabs on the top. And one of them here is our morning watch list. So at the end of the day, me, Mike, and Al like to sit back, we check out the stocks that we're moving, Again, with day trading, there's so much going on. There's so many stocks moving that during the day, it's just so much data and so much information to grasp that it's good to step back at the end of the day and see what happened and then see the potential gainers. And a lot of the times, the best ones come from under the dirt, the ones that you need to do some research for, the ones that nobody's looking at. Sometimes those end up paying off from just a little bit research uh, after hours. So let's dive into our watch list for tomorrow and let's see what we got. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and click this, the 23rd. On the left side is the watch list. On the right side is TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim. I'm going to start at the top and we'll go through the whole watch list so we're starting with a group of these OTC stocks that actually got a bump today as you can see it shows OTC stocks that got first green days and they closed towards their highs of today so we're watching to see if they can continue over their highs over those key spots tomorrow for potential continuations all right we like each one of these because they made tight trading ranges today so that gives you a clear picture to tell you the potential they have in the morning right if they're holding support from Tuesday in the opening minutes, we'll keep a tight eye on them. And that's what's cool about these stocks that have a tight trading range. That's why we like these four specific t stocks, because you could really, you could step back and see if that breaks support early, eh, you know, this one might be a bearish day. This one might be a downtrending day. It might be a one or done first green day. However, if it's still holding support in the morning, let's keep an eye on that. So let's check out each one of these. Right now we're looking at SGMD, and as you can see, it's a little bit choppy here on the long-term chart, but if we go to the one year, what we're looking at here is this two-day, this multi-day resistance, or potential two-day, uh, or multi-day resistance break here at 1.7. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's a stringy chart, so this is a little bit more of a higher risk play, being a super low price stock at 0 0.0159 cents. Um, however, that gives huge potential. So with SGMD, we're looking for it to get to that 1.7 spot tomorrow, and that's the spot that it couldn't break the other day when it came out with its news. Also, SGMD came out with news in the morning, so we'll see if that hype can continue tomorrow morning. Uh, the support on SGMD, the spot we're looking for it to hold, is 0 0.0145, and then again, the resistance is right here 0 0.017 for shrimp the next OTC stock they came out with news a final testing for one of their potential products uh, they have support at 11.11.8 and resistance at 13 so let's check out shrimp here first we'll zoom out at the one year one year always paints the clear picture for me this is what gives you the best or gives me the best perspective on my potential trade or for my odds to trade this so look at zooming out on the one year we see a big downtrend with shrimp. It needs some life. So they pumped out an article today at 1022 saying that they're performing a final test on one of their products. Gave it some hype midday, however, that hype couldn't hold. So we're looking at this support spot here at 11.8 and then this resistance spot here at 13 tomorrow morning. Let's see what'll happen. The next two stocks, Kush B and MRMD, the final two in this OTC pack, these are other two first greens that got little bumps that we'll see. Um, now this, that multi-day resistance is 150, so that's the key spot we're watching there. And then lastly, MRMD. This one closed strong, however, it's already had three green days. Multi-day resistance, multi-week it looks like resistance there is $1. So that $1 key spot we'll be watching. So we got some interesting setups there with those OTC plays. It's nice to see some of those long-term beat-up OTC plays get all big bumps on the same day. So let's see if we can create some hype for the other ones. Uh, I know we have some other OTC ones on the list. I think we only have one listed tonight, so that's pretty cool. Let's talk about the other ones. Uh, the next one, BCII. BCII, it's a first green day. Well, let me pull, let me pull up the chart here. BCCI, this is the first green day. It's a sub penny that became a penny just recently 
and now it's been holding a penny and it looks like it broke a multi-month resistance here a 0 0.022 and it's still holding it into close the reason why it got such a big bump in the morning is because they came out with news let's check out this article it says that baristas which is bcci is going to sign a company with ben and jerry's ice cream uh, their partnership is going to develop a home delivery network of premium ice cream and coffee products nationwide. Now, who knows if this is actually going to happen? My bet that this won't happen, and I'm more of an optimistic person. It's just I've been around these penny stocks enough. Um, however, this does create hype. Uh, when you see a penny stock associated with a big company, especially someone this big like Ben & Jerry's, it creates hype and it creates volatility around the stock. And that's what gave this such a good push in the morning. There was nice potential here for some longs in the morning. Nice push and then a hold and another second leg. So great potential there in the morning. We wanted to wait to see if it could prove itself throughout midday. And as you can see, it didn't. However, we really like this setup. This is actually still high on our radar because this is now 50% off its 4-4 high that it made. Right? It closed around 50% under that high that it made today, okay? So it's already down a bit. So what we're looking for tomorrow is a panic or another dip to buy into around that support of 2-3 that it had today. Or if it really dips, and that's ideally we get a morning panic. Ideally, that's when we want to see it when there's the most volume churning. And we get that panic to 2-2. Two, two. So that'll be a nice spot to be able to gauge risk and which we think could be able to get a quick potential flip of 15, 20%. Let's keep an eye on this one. Let's see if this can grind. If it doesn't get any dips, if it doesn't get that morning panic or dip throughout the day, let's see if you can get a grind throughout the day and get back above this VWAP spot tomorrow and start grinding and get a continuation like we saw with the next play we're going to talk about, COWPP. Let's go ahead and dive into this one, COWPP. So this one doesn't have any news, but look at the one year, and this is another OTC. I wanna just step back and clap it up for these OTCs. Four, five, six consistent ones on the list, that's awesome. There's only one listed one, which we'll talk about in a second. It's nice to see six here starting the watch list. All right, let's talk about COWPP. Again, this is an OTC, 52 week breakout and power hour. So we're watching to see if we continue tomorrow to get its push tomorrow morning. This one broke out in power hour and got a nice 11% push and then ended up holding that and creating a little bit of support in the last 10 minutes. Let's dive into the one day, one minute so you can see what I'm talking about here. Like we talking about in the watch list, CW, COWPP had an uptrend all day, but it was a liquid and it was also spread. It had a, it had a spread uh, bid and ask. 347 it did get a nice volume push and it broke through that high a day which also made it push to the high of year of 33.5 and then the last 10 minutes it created a tight support cut tight trading range from 34 to 36 so that's awesome to see again power hour breakout you get a nice 11 percent push above that uh, that's why going back to bcci if it does grind tomorrow see what can happen if it does get a pm breakout COWPP, what we're looking for here is a potential continuation. If you are in this, this looks like it could set up for a nice gap up for you guys tomorrow morning. Congrats on that. The spread tightened up up here, so we'll see. It does look like it's gonna continue. However, since we missed the breakout, what we're looking at here is if it could get a potential washout and we can get a dip and then a rip to buy into. And if it does dip, we're looking at this 32.3 breakout spot from the day. And, and you also have this 30 VWAP. And then lastly, you know, if it's a really big dip, you got 27 support there. So we'll keep an eye on that play in the morning. Last but not least, guys, a listed play, TK. Our notes here, it says listed first green day with news that they resolved an issue with one of their partners and it closed just under its highs. So we're gonna watch to see if we can push over those highs tomorrow. TK, it's 412 million market cap. So it's outside of our, uh, our penny stock list, uh, but it is coming up to a multi-month resistance, which also is that high of day resistance that it made today of 512. 
So 512 for TK. Again, 512 for TK is the key spot we're gonna be watching. What's cool is this also created a tight range. So we got 490 support to gauge off of. That 490 you can use to risk. That 490 can also help you paint the picture to let you see, uh, to allow you to see if this can hold and push for a morning continuation, maybe a morning flip. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you got some tickers or some tips. We'll see you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Sniper Nick and the Sniper Team is out. See you guys.